Hi all, it's V. And Steve. And this is Skipton Castle. With over 900 years of history and lots of nooks and crannies, there's lots to explore. So join us. Before there was Skipton Castle, there was woods. Now woods make a great place to build a castle because you have food, you have timber, you have hunting and fishing. So it was a perfect place. Built in 1090, the castle was massively strengthened in 1310 by the first Clifford Lord of Skipton. It's a beautiful example of a 900 year old castle. One of the best preserved medieval castles in England, over 900 years old and still fully roofed. It still has its full roof. All of the rooms still look like they did, but they also look like you could move in tomorrow. They're very well kept. It's hard to believe walking in the main door, you're walking in the door that the Normans walked in 900 years ago. So much history. There's a tea room and a gift shop. This is the chapel of St. John the Evangelist, 700 years old. The castle's very well laid out so that tourists can figure out what they're looking at, what the rooms are. In each room, there's at least one information board that says what the room was, how it was used, and some very interesting history. So I filmed those. If you want to know more about the history, you can pause on those. This would have been the original door, and that would have been the drawbridge that way. I really enjoyed the feeling that this castle was also a home. You had to have a kitchen, you had to have bedrooms, you had to have a dungeon. Yeah, every, every home has a dungeon, doesn't it? But you can tell how it was used at the time. And I appreciate that it's still in the state that you can really feel how medieval 
Clifford family members lived. You can also see more modern, although I use that term loosely, changes like the yew tree that was planted and how it was rebuilt after the Civil War. It wasn't allowed to be rebuilt as strong. They didn't want it to be a stronghold. At least Oliver Cromwell didn't. So the walls were much thinner, but some of the old walls are left so you can tell the difference. It's a really interesting place and well worth a visit. The grounds also have a 12th century chapel, as well as a shop, of course, and a tea room. And of course we had to stop by the tea room. Come on, who could resist a scone? As you go into the castle, you're given an information sheet that tells you all about each room, gives you more interesting history, and kind of lets you know how the rooms were used, things like that. Really, really, they're really good about letting you know what you're looking at, which I appreciate. I like the history, and some of the history on this little sheet, it's funny, it's interesting. For example, there's a set of blocked stairs, and you'd never know what those are for, except the sheet says it would have led to the medieval flat roof. So the original wall would have been this thick one here, but Cromwell wouldn't let her rebuild that thick. It's really cool they kept the original and didn't just get rid of it.
And this is the watchtower ground floor. And this tells you about it. Early castles were rectangular, but the Crusaders discovered in the east how much better the round tower withstood the battering ram. So this is the wine and beer cellars. And the rest of the wine cellars. So you know I love history, and I love castles. What did you think? I thought it was really good. Yeah, a lot of, uh, yeah, interesting history. And, um, yeah, yeah, it was a good, um, what do you think, half day? Uh, yeah, no, I thought it was a good trip, and uh, yeah, if you're in the area, well worth um, going to. Yeah, I actually skipped in the little town, looked really nice too. We didn't have much time, but we could explore that at some point. So nice. Thank you all so much for joining us. Yep, okay, thank you. Bye. So the niche is earlier for crossbowmen. I assume this was for curing or for getting the meats ready to be cured. I love how this says the present inner wall dates only from the Tudor times, circa 1485. Only. <laughs> I realize the rest of it's older, but wow, that's still pretty old. Be sure to stop by the cafe. Look at that scone. Wow. <laughs>